Hey, what is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with something interesting that you guys usually like here from my channel and that's going to be another replica of an iPhone. However, this is called the world's smallest smartphone in the market right now. According to their description in 2021, it is a phone that looks like the iPhone 11 Pro in many different ways, but it is a very tiny version of it. And as you guys can tell, I got this from Amazon with a prime service. I paid about $87, but I have to be honest with you guys. This is not a phone that you want to use as a daily driver. It has mediocre specifications. Once you hear them, you guys will definitely agree. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this real quick here. I held all my temptations to open the box. And let's see what we have inside. It is a very lightweight box, by the way. Look at this, guys. So tiny. This thing has to be maybe about four inches tall, three inches wide, and about maybe an inch and a half in depth. So it is a very tiny box. It looks like a toy. That's because, well, most likely this is considered a toy phone. And again, it is called the iSight 11 Pro. I will be leaving the link down below so that way you guys can check it out. So this phone has the MTK65A0M. It has only one gig of RAM and eight gigs of internal storage. And it has a very, very poor camera. We have a two megapixel rear facing camera out of the three lenses. And on the front, we have a 0 0.3 megapixel selfie camera. So again, that's very, very uh, poor. And even the clones, they usually make them like this as well. So here we have the phone and wow, this is tiny guys. I mean, just look at my finger and I don't have the biggest hands out there. This thing is so tiny that I have to say, it kind of looks cute. On the back side here, we have a little cover, but you can tell that it doesn't have the Apple logo. And there we can see the three lenses. It looks a little different to what I saw online. We have the little power button here on the side with what appears to be a SIM tray. And this is a dual SIM device as well. We have a microphone here on the left side of the device looking at it from the front. On the bottom, you have a micro USB port with a loudspeaker. You have the volume rockers here on the opposite side of the device. And wow, this is a tiny phone. I mean, wow, this is crazy, guys. So on the back side, we have here something uh, that feels like plastic. I don't think this is glass whatsoever. And so inside of the box, let's see what else we have in here. And of course, we're going to test and see if I can at least log in to my uh, Google account. So we have a little case. Very nice. You have a little uh, USB, well not little, but a standard USB cable with a screen protector, the manuals, and a SIM popper. Let's go ahead and check out that SIM tray and see if I was correct about the dual SIM capabilities. That's what I read. And yes, it is a dual SIM device. You can also fit a TF card in there. I'm not sure of how much, but yes, dual SIM, dual standby, you can also upgrade the memory on it. And again, that's uh, very, very cool. On the front here, we have a 2.5 inch display. It is carrying Android 6. There we can see that 0 0.3 megapixel sensor camera with the ear speaker. Uh, so let's see if this thing has any juice right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on real quick. There we go. It says welcome already. So I'm excited. I didn't have to charge it beforehand. Sometimes they come discharged. Um, I already did a smallest phone um, unboxing and uh, it had to do with the 10s. And uh, this time again, we have the 11 Pro. Kind of looks like it. It's a little bit thicker. So it is still booting up. Again, the specs, you guys can expect much at $87. It comes with the MTK65A0. So I would just say, don't waste your money on this unless you plan to use it as a toy. It is nothing more than just a toy phone. I'm pretty sure that you can make phone calls with this thing. But uh, yes, it is just that, nothing else. You can't play games with this. It'll probably lag quite a bunch. So let's see uh, when it decides to boot up.
Alrighty guys, so I went ahead here and set up the iSight 11 Pro. I enter my Google account and uh, well, for all we know, I might get hacked, who knows? So anyways, here I have the 12 Pro Max and just to compare, look how tiny this phone is. I mean, literally it fits about four times into the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Check that out guys. This is crazy. It's a very, very tiny phone. I thought that it wasn't gonna even work to be honest with you. I went ahead and installed my SIM card on here, but unfortunately Verizon does not support this kind of phone. This is a GSM phone. And for that reason, I had to use something like AT&T or T-Mobile. So as you guys can tell, it doesn't allow me to use it. But again, it is a functional phone. Look at that tiny little display, 2.5 inches. Yes, you heard it right, 2.5 inches. And it looks similar to iOS as well. So here I have the uh, Play Store. Let's see if it opens up easily. There we go. And uh, as you guys can tell, it has a functional Play Store. Let's see if we can download a game here. Let's try something simple like uh, maybe Able Pool. Look how tiny that keyboard is. It is um, really hard to type on here, but if you don't have uh, fat fingers, thank God I don't, uh, then it is possible. So right here, you guys can tell you have the soft touch keys. Again, this is Android 6, so this is like the old style of it. Uh, of course, we can hide it. And then if we go here into settings, let's see if uh, this is similar. I don't think so. It's just going to be the regular Android settings and look how much that's lagging already. That's because of the MTK 65A0 guys. Look at that. I was able to connect to the Wi-Fi and that seems to be working okay so far. Let's see how much uh, storage we have. Again, it is only a one gigabyte phone with eight gigabytes of internal storage and you can see it right there. And it is struggling right now to let me know how much memory we have available and i think that's fake actually the eight gigabytes because uh, we have very little available so the rest is just standard android let's see here on about phone what the uh, operating system is and check that out android 6.0 marshmallow wow that brings old memories guys very old memories so Let's go ahead and check out here the camera. This is the two megapixel rear facing camera. And surprising enough, you can take a picture. I mean, it's doable. Let's see. Let's shoot a picture here. Let's open that photo. And also the touchscreen is accurate. Every time I press on something, it works. So that's very impressive. Check out that photo. It does have a working camera. Isn't that amazing, guys? Really, really cool. Let's check out here the front-facing camera. There we go. You can see it right there. It does have a functional front-facing camera too, but again, it is a 0.3 megapixel camera. Alrighty, guys. So I went ahead and, of course, downloaded here Able Pool, and that seems to be working. I mean, I haven't uh, logged in here to my account. Uh, let's go ahead and say uh, play as guest, and let's see what happens. I'm trying to click on it. The screen sometimes uh, kind of sort of freezes, and I can feel right now that on the back side it's very, very hot. There we go. And so it is loading. Let's see if. Uh, I can maybe create an account. Let's see, start tutorial. And let's move this thing around. Check that out, guys. I am playing Able Pool. It does lag already quite a bunch, but I am playing Able Pool here on this device. Let me see if I can go live on it and play with somebody. Let's see, I'm playing with Andrew. Andrew has no idea that he been recorded here on YouTube so there we go I started the game let's see if I can maybe hold on a second yeah I didn't make any shots so unfortunately it's his turn but you guys get the idea we are playing a bow pool and I know this is not a a heavy game but it's still it's quite impressive to say that you can play this game on a phone so tiny like this one right here and yes I went ahead and also downloaded here uh, YouTube 
and that seems to be working as well let me see if I can open it this phone is currently lagging quite a bunch here we can see that YouTube has been delayed and uh, let's just give it a few seconds hopefully it'll come up there we go and this is my channel of course let's see if we can play this video let's see how that loudspeaker sounds boom we can even watch YouTube on this $87 phone And yes, the reason you guys are seeing it here connected to the charger is because when I first took it out of the box, it only had about 10% of charge. So I had to connect it here to this uh, charger that I had laying around. And of course I'm using here my portable battery. And so right now I have about 26%. This one has a 1000 milliamp battery. It has the uh, GPU, I think it's the Mali 400. So it is very outdated. I will say this thing has tech from like 2012 2011 or even sooner um, again it is the mtk 65a0 this is not a usable phone whatsoever let's see if we have here the dialer let's see what it looks like and uh, this is what the dialer looks like functional very cool and uh, let's go ahead and check here uh, gallery let's see what that looks like you know that we took that picture earlier so we have a working gallery as well we have clock and all of this is just standard Android. Let's see, we have a calculator. That seems to be working. And the rest is working, guys. We even have here the notification. We can increase the brightness right there. Very cool. And the only thing that we were not able to test is the uh, loudspeaker, or excuse me, the uh, dialer to make phone calls because of the fact that Verizon is not working. So here we have the sound recorder. Let's see if we can actually use it. Hello there, YouTube. We are testing here the recorder on the iSight 11 Pro. Okay, and let's see if uh, we can play this. Okay, and yes, it does work. So there we go, guys. Uh, here we have it for the smallest phone in the world and also replicating somewhat the iPhone 11 Pro. Let me know down below what you guys think about this thing. Do you want to see more videos like this? Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you guys on my next one.